Okay, so let's see how prices are set and how wages are set. In an economy in which we have workers claiming higher purchasing power and firms uh, wanting to have lower costs in order to have higher profits, we are looking for the point where workers and firms reach an agreement. That is, we're looking for the equilibrium real wage that clears the market, the labor market. So first, wages are set through collective bargaining, and then afterwards, prices are set by firms. So first, we want to understand how the aggregate nominal wages are set. So imagine we're looking at this with the perspective of a worker. Who's thinking, well, what wage should I ask for? Imagine that we are trying to set the wage that we will receive next period. The worker has to wonder what is really behind wages. One of the things is prices. The reason why they should care about prices is that workers don't really care just about their nominal wage. Workers care about their real wage, which is the wage they receive with respect to the price level in the economy. They care about how much they can buy with their wages. They care about the amount of goods and services they will be able to buy with the wage they're asking for. But remember, wages are set before prices. So, at the moment workers make the decision about what wage to claim, they do not know exactly what the price is going to be. That is why we uh, talk about the expected price level, which is the price level that workers expect that will happen to exist after they set the wages along with the firms. Other thing workers should care about is the conditions of the labor market. Since workers have to bargain for wages with firms, their bargaining power depends a lot on the unemployment level of the economy. If there are a lot of unemployed people in the economy, workers will have low bargaining power. Thus, in the process, they will be forced to accept a lower wage. Imagine the opposite case, that there is very low unemployment rate in the economy. In this case, workers have a lot of bargaining power, since firms know that there are a lot of jobs available out there. And if they don't pay enough to their employees, these workers will decide to go away to another company. So firms accept to pay higher wages. Now, there are other factors that affect wages, which are basically the characteristics of the labor market, which could be described as um, a catch-all variable called C, and these are, well, uh, the minimum wage, unemployment insurance, etc. You can think of it this way, whenever protection in the labor market is high, people uh, have a higher bargaining power and they get higher wages. So now we know how to get to the basic wage setting equation. Now remember that if workers expect the price level to go up, they will bid their wages up in order not to lose any purchasing power. If the unemployment rate in the economy is high, workers will be forced to accept lower wages because they fear that they, if, if they don't accept lower wages, they will get fired. Now imagine there is a government 
who decides to make the labor market more flexible. They will cut down the minimum wage and the unemployment insurance, lowering C. And now firms have more power in order to force workers to accept lower wages.